What's up my loves? My name is Paige, this is Paige with Paige, and today we're going to be talking through my August TBR. Hello my darlings, welcome to this video. Today we're going to be talking through the books that I want to read in August. For my TBR, I am a co-host for Pick Pongathon, which I'll leave a link down below. Crystal from Bomb Book Reviews is the creator and I am one of the co-hosts for the Pong and Pros Pros team and my co-hosts are Brittany Loves Reading and Brooklyn Reads. So I'll leave everyone linked down below. But whilst I know my team's prompts, I don't know what Crystal's is and I can't tell you what they are. <laughs> So these books are picked with the prompts for Pick Pongathon in mind, but I'm going to be talking through my series TBRathon, which is a Discord based readathon focusing on series and carnival themed, and that's how I'm going to do the prompts for this. So I'm very excited with series TBRathon. I'll leave the Discord link down below as well, but there are, because it's carnival themed. There are a few carnival games per se. So I've got a few little extra activities to make this interesting and depending on the consequences of those will influence if I have to add extra books for my other reading challenges or not. So I'm just going to work through the graphic and like I said I'm not telling you what the pick pong prompts are. I'm just going to be going through the series TBR but knowing that most of these fit in line. For this, if you don't have any books that fit or what have you, you can read standalone books as well. So there are a few that I have swapped out to be standalone picks, but mostly keeping predominantly to series. So the first prompt is Ferris wheel and this is to spin a wheel. So I have created the series on the go wheel. I finally transferred it over. So instead of just pulling one of the little scrolls, we're just gonna spin the wheel. And I am very apprehensive about this. But let's see how we go. I'm so scared. Oh, I'm petrified. <laughs> wow, it won't control violence. Okay, I have not been procrastinating on that for a month of Sundays. Radio. Oh my goodness. Wow, that really just called me out. Thank you. Very much appreciate that. So my spin on wheel is Seasonal Fears by Shona Maguire, which is the second in the middle game Alchemicalist Journey, I think, series. And I hadn't heard great things about Seasonal Fears. I think it's also quite chunky, which is not ideal, but that's what's popped up. So, right, yep. Didn't see that one coming, but it's good. I will decide if I read Seasonal Fears and enjoy it, I will continue on and try to get to title something soonish rather than just continuing to procrastinate on it. But if I don't like it or I'm just too confused or not vibing with it, I will just DNF it and DNF the series. Sweet! <laughs> wow, that, that was not what I was expecting. The next prompt is Dodgems, and that's a TBR bet. So I'm going with Love Objects by Emily Maguire. This is my book or revisited book for August. So I sort of put my TBR bets as I definitely have older ones, like my 2020 book hauls and before, but if I have the opportunity to put this on, it's been on my TBR for a while. So I'm gonna put this one on, but because there was no vote, it was just to let me know your favourite object and that was really cool. So I will do the spinner wheel here and reach out to the person who it lands on and we can discuss getting a book or gift card of 25 AUD to you in some way, shape or form. So let's see. I've got, once again, it loaded. Do, do, do. Monica's seven? Cool. Congrats, I will reach out and organize what we can do. So that's TBR bet and the sooner wheel done. And I actually remembered to do it. Look at me go. The next prompt is Tunnel of Love to finish the series. And for that, I'm gonna go with What's a Girl Got to Do by Holly Vaughan. This is the third in the Spinster series and will finish off the series as well as make some progress on my rainbow shelf. I am genuinely so shocked. The one time I make the rainbow shelf not a priority and I'm actually getting through it. <laughs> Thanks, brain. 
Lottie is the third friend from our friend group and she's very strong in her beliefs and very outspoken which is amazing and I think it's going to be a very interesting book on seeing their character progression and how they choose to navigate that and how they choose to be vocal. So this will finish off the series and I can't believe it that I have got here because this is one, I think it's one of the older series but it's one that I've owned for a while but I didn't start it till a few years after I'd owned it. So. There we go. The next prompt is Slush Puppy, and that is to read a book that has two or more genres. So, please let me know. The Man Who Died Twice by Richard Osman. So this is the second in the Thursday Murder Club. So on Goodreads, this is shelved both under crime and mystery. Does that count as two separate genres? I feel like it does. Please let me know if it doesn't and I'll find a romance fantasy or something. But I do really want to continue on with this series. I do find that it's a very cozy mystery as well. So it's just so wholesome. I really enjoyed the first book. So I would like to continue on with this for my challenge. And also because Brittany is one of my co-hosts for Pick Pongathon, I'd love to continue chipping away at their series recommendations as well. So the next prompt is Ghost Train and that is to read a friend rec. So Thursday matter. But Zoe has started on the Iron King by Julie Kagawa and I hope to finish it by the end of the month and if I do I would love to continue on with the Iron Daughter which is the second in the series and from book reviews with Zoe's friend rec for me so I would love to do that I do have other options or reading the first one if need be or if Zoe turns around and goes actually I don't particularly like this can we um I don't actually recommend it then that's fine but I would like to put the second one on for the moment the next prompt is swing boats so for that I need to flip a coin. I'm just going to use my device. But for this one I have my library book that is also finishing off a series and that's Aristotle and Dante Dive Into the Waters of the World by Benjamin Elias Sands. And I was supposed to read this for July but just didn't. So now this is one of the options and then I also have Escaping from Houdini by Kerry Maniscalco, the third in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series. And I want to make progress in both of these. This is the oldest series series left on my TBR, I think, that and Family of Liars. And then this is one that I really wanted to continue on with. So I think I'm going to do heads because there's a skull and her face on it for Escaping from Houdini and then tails will be Aristotle and Dante. So Alexa, flip a coin. I'll take this back to the library. So I will be reading Escaping from Houdini by Kerry Maniscalco. I am also happy with this because it's reading down my shelves as well. But <laughs> yay, excellent, beautiful, love it. For one of the future prompts, it is a claw machine pole pick. And for that, I had two continuations of series and then two borrowed books. But what I might do is put Aristotle on there as three continuations of series and then one library book and then whatever it doesn't get chosen for the poll pick I then have those three options to go for for continuous series or two options if one of the continuations get picked. So what I'm going to do is put up a poll. So Aristotle still coming. We'll have Aristotle and Dante, us against you, strong female character and full metal Alchemist Volume 9. Sorry, I'll put a poll in. I might do it on the series TBR or a thon Discord as well as Suffer a thon just to see what people think and I'll do it as a random emoji. If there's a book that you would like and you're not on either of those Discords, feel free to comment down below what you'd like me to read. So we've got Aristotle and Dante Dive Into the Waters of the World, Us Against You by Frederick Buckman, Full Metal Alchemist Volume 9 by... Hiromu Awakawa and Strong Female Character by Fern Brady. So I will go post those and I will set it so that on the 31st or the 1st I will have an answer. So depending on what wins it'll either be Us Against You, Full Metal or 
Aristotle that I read for continuation if they don't get picked. What do we have next? So next is Log Fumes and for that I'm going with a hyped book so I either want to read Disability Visibility edited by Alice Wong because this is a collection of first person stories from the 21st century and how people live with disabilities and bringing disability to the forefront and making it more visible and having the discussion. Ren from the Reading Ren kindly gifted this to me. So Ren is on the Literary Pongsters, so I'd love to read this. But the other one that I would also really love to read is The Body Keeps the Score by Bessel van der Kolk. I did have this on a TBR previously but didn't end up getting to it because it was just a lot of non-fiction in a slump so <laughs> this one's definitely shorter so and I own it so I will probably end up going towards it but I thought for a hyped book both of these are really hyped for non-fiction and looking at disability whether that be the impacts of trauma or disability represented within this as well I really want to get one non-fiction back in because I've been slumping on the non-fic then we have crazy hole <laughs> crazy hole crazy golf two starter series and for this I do have it's not necessary um I can just pick the one that I want I have four options and whatever gets picked from this will shape my TBR quite significantly if the dragon keeper gets picked I then have to add two more books to the TBR one that has flowers in the name or one that has a book on the cover so I do have options that aren't the starts of series but I thought Let's see. If the Wisteria Society of Lady Scoundrels gets picked, I will still need to add another book that has books on the cover. And then if the Romance Book Club or Can't Spell Treason Without Tea gets picked, then I will need to add a book with flowers in the title, which will be The Flower Girls. So let's see what the chaos is. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Oh, I'm scared. Alexa, pick a number between one and four. Oh no! Okay! Right, this was my least desired option, but sure. I'm going to be reading Can't Spell Treason Without Tea. I am excited for this, I just have not heard the best things since acquiring it. So I was procrastinating on it, even though I only bought it earlier this year. So it is going towards my 2024 book haul, which we love to see. And then I will also be adding The Flower Girls by Alice Clark Platts because I need to have a book that has the word flower in the title or a specific flower in the title for bookie one. So at least I'm only adding another one, not two more. But The Dragon Keeper is the last first book in series I have to start for bookish peeps. So I have finished all of Amy's series continuations and then that's the start and I have started all of them except The Iron King but I am getting to that this one. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Wow, that just went in a direction I was not anticipating, but that is a-okay. Continuing on, the next prompt is ice cream, so a favourite genre. And for that, I have put... What have I put? Oh, that's the one I was missing. So for fave genre, I'm going to go with Sleep Like Death by Kaelin Barron. This is a, I'm assuming, sleepy <laughs> beauty retelling based off the title. I really hope I'm not wrong from that. I needed life for Buzzwordathon, but the only one that I have is is a fight like a girl and I just I I'd rather read this so I said you know what this is a new release I'm really excited to get to it because I do love Kaylin Bayron's writing although I technically should read the second in the uh this wicked fate series but that's fine it's all good I just want to give it a go it is a fantasy retelling which I adore oh no 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 I was wrong, it was Snow White. I didn't think it was Sleeping Beauty. I was like, mm, this doesn't seem quite right. It's Snow White. Yeah, she falls unconscious from the apple, which explains it. Mm, yeah, mm. I don't have a brain cell today, it's fine. I don't know. It currently only has a 3.81 on Goodreads, but I do know that it's not gonna be for everyone. I really enjoy their retelling style, so I'm eager to pick it up, now remembering that it's Snow White, and we'll just see how it goes. But I do love fantasy retellings. That is a genre that I love. I really hope that this is not a first in a series. I'm pretty sure it is a standalone, but We'll put it on and if it ends up having more later then we will adjust accordingly. <laughs> the next prompt is Claw Machine and that's the pole pick so I'll have those options going. The next prompt is Roller Coaster and Fast Pace and for this I'm doing it Crystal! I'm doing it! <laughs> 
I'm gonna read A Head Case, which is the last book in the Timothy Blake series. And I read High Out this month. I don't know if it was as good for me as the other ones. I found it more disturbing, which is awesome. But overall enjoyment, mm. considering he's a cannibal, you know, you go in with certain expectations. And I always seem to be surprised, but I will be reading the fourth one. I have no idea what he's getting up to based off the ending of the third one. I'm curious. I'm very curious. So I've decided this is Crystal's readathon. Like I have to read this series and finish it off. So I will be getting this from the library. I hope, or I'll be getting it through Libby as an ebook through my library. It is definitely going to be a fast paced book. I found that I struggled to get into the third one. The first hundred pages, I was just like, okay, we're just going. But I feel like the fourth one, if I believe that to be the last book in the series, I don't know if there's more to come out. I'm very excited and I think it's going to be an absolute wild ride. So very fitting for this prompt. <laughs> the next prompt is Candy Floss and that's a book by a favourite author. And so I'm going with Blackbird Oracle by Deborah Harkness. We needed to get it on. I am so unbelievably excited for this. I cannot wait. I just Oh, I'm so, so keen. This is continuing on the All Souls series, Bookstara, which is Amy from A Star Reads and Danielle from Bookara, linked below. We are doing a side quest, so it's not our usual reading month together, but we're doing it because we're all just so excited. I cannot wait. Ah! I can't wait. No idea where this is going. I'm just going in blind and I'm going to have a fabulous time. So the next prompt is Fortune Teller, which is a five star prediction. But to get to that one, we need to talk about the carousel, which is an animal companion. <laughs> and so for animal companion, I'm going to go with Mammoths at the Gate by Nevo. I have decided that I want to catch up with this series. It was pulled from my TBR jar. Obviously, I don't have to get to them for my TBR, but I would like to be able to catch up. That would be really, really cool. So for an animal companion, I'm going with Mammoths at the Gate. I have no idea <laughs> if this actually does have companion in it. Let's have a look. Let's actually just confirm this, shall we? Hey, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's in. Excellent. So there is an animal companion in it to some description. So that will count. So the five star prediction I think is going to be the Brides of High Hill. Again, no nothing. Absolutely nothing. But this series is just so beautifully written that I have hope. And honestly, if it's not Okay, it has been a while since I've read the first three, so my taste might have changed, but I have faith. I have very high faith, and this will get me caught up with the series again. Mention of a companion, so this is excellent. But there's a murderous teapot! How is that not a five-star prediction? Fuck! Oh my god, that's glorious. Alright, and oh, the last prompt for series tbr is hook a duck and that is a random number generator and what i'm gonna do is my entire tbr but i have included and this is including ashes i have included bitter blue which is the next graceling i have included barbarian lover which is the next ice planet barbarian i have included the next soul eater and i have included strong female character because that is a library book that i need to read and i can just swap it out if it gets picked so everything else is up to where I am. Obviously the only thing that will be problematic is if I roll The Road Trip by Beth O'Leary because I haven't taken that off yet or what's the other? A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. They're the two books that I'm still wanting to read off my physical TBR by the end of the month but if I just roll those I'll just re-roll. I am going with Ashes of Mine collectively which is always petrifying. <laughs> and that totals 237 books including the extra ones that I don't actually own. So if it's going to be a small number it's not going to be the ones that I need to get on but let's just give it a go shall we. I swear to god if it's like 234 onwards I'm going to scream. Oh it's 203. Let's have a look. Oh! I don't like that. No, no thank you. I'ma take a hard pass on that. No, 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 no. Okay, how do I fix this problem that I have created for myself? If I copy those over to my TBR, is that going to give me enough? <laughs> Fuck that shit. Hell no, motherfucker. 
Oh no, oh no, thank you, no thank you. Hard pass, hard pass. Sorry. <laughs> Why am I like this? Did you choose to be a chaos gremlin? Oh, that's so funny. Sorry, if I added on Bitter Blue and all of that to my physical TBI, it literally puts us at 203 books. Fuck, that's hilarious. I'm just... What else do I have up my sleeve? Yeah, that, yeah. Every time, just randomizing my entire TBI just hurts me in a way I couldn't possibly imagine. Right, okay. That was the lesson I do. <laughs> when forty winters shall besiege thy prayer, I dig deep trenches in thy beauty's fells. Thy youth's proud livery, so gazed on now, will be tattered weed of small worth held. Then being asked where all thy beauty lies, where all the measure of thy lusty days, to, <laughs> to say within thine own deep sunken eyes, where on all eaten shame and thriftless praise. How much more praise deserve thy beauty's use, if thou couldst answer this fair child of mine. Oh, 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 this fair child of mine. <laughs> Shall some my count and make my old excuse, proving this beauty by succession thine, this were to be new made, thou art old. And see thy blood warm, thou feel'st it cold. Is it okay if I keep that in? Oh, is it still rolling? Yeah. Of course you can. That's actually worked out quite well. And... It's very small. It's very small. There's only 174. But that is more than, you know, three a day. So I've grabbed the book and I actually thought it was going to be the four comedies bind up. So I was like, oh fuck, I have to read three Shakespearean <laughs> plays. But no, it's the sonnets. So it's literally just tiny little sonnets and there's 174 of them. So sweet. That made me less concerned for my life. My battery's about to die. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this quickly enough. Oh dear. I'm not gonna hold these up because I've put in bits and bobs. That's my series tbr -athon with pick pong -athon prompts for the Pong and Pros Pros team prompts in mind. Let me know in the comments if you're participating in any readathons and or which team you have for Pong-a-thong. If you are joining, my team gets to vote each week on a lifestyle activity for me to do, so that's good fun. And yeah, let me know anything you want to let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of this mess, feel free to subscribe. I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!